What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Sector for Nerds. I'm Ryan Brower, and today I'm here to give you guys my thoughts on Andor Episode 6, VI. But first up, make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, head over to my second YouTube channel that I made recently called Top 10 Character Moments and subscribe there as well. It's free, and it really helps support me as a YouTuber. Thanks, guys. Okay, so Andor Episode 6... I will say this much on a uh, positive note, this was probably my favorite episode of the six episodes. Now granted, for me personally, that's not that high of a bar to jump over considering that I have not liked this show really at all. One of the big things that I take issue with in this show is just how slow the pacing is. And even in this episode, I felt like there were certain things that were taking too long. Like for example, that heist scene, I just felt like it just kept going and going and I was kind of just like waiting for it to get to the point, get to the punchline, which like I understand, you know, like obviously it was a little bit more of an entertaining scene than most of the other scenes we've gotten, especially since last week's episode, really nothing happened. But at the end of the day, I just, I feel like this show's pacing has been super slow and I'm, I haven't been a fan of it. So one thing that I didn't mention last week that I kind of wanted to bring up this week as well is that during last week's episode, and I think even the episode before that as well, I ended up, when I was sit there watching the episode at 2 a.m. in the morning, you know, when they released the episodes, I ended up just dozing off and falling asleep while watching the episodes. Now, obviously, it's very late into the, you know, the evening, but at the end of the day, it's never been an issue before when watching other Star Wars content. So I think it just kind of just goes to show you like how much I really don't care about this show. When they opened up and they were still doing like a freaking campfire thing, I'm like, we did a whole episode on this stuff. Like, why are we still here? Man, can we just get Tales of the Jedi at this point? Or where is Bad Batch Season 2? Why has that been delayed? Can I get, I, I want both of those shows, please. I need them now. This show just isn't my Star Wars. Okay, I will, I will get a few positives out there that I did like about this episode. All right, that scene when they're, when they're trying to escape on that ship and avoiding the TIE fighters, visually that was one of the most beautiful shots in all of Star Wars, like with everything going on in the background. Very, very cool. I also liked seeing Mon Mothma in the Senate. I was like, oh my gosh, we're getting a Senate scene with Mon Mothma. It didn't necessarily go the way that I wanted it to go. I was kind of expecting there to be a little bit more, but just kind of seeing like the Imperial Senate on Coruscant, like that's pretty cool. I guess I should have expected it to not be as good because Senate scenes were boring in the prequels, they were mostly boring in Clone Wars, so why should I have expected anything different here? And then of course seeing Luthen as well. Like Luthen I think is the only part of this show that has really intrigued me so far. So I'm waiting to see like his interaction with Saw Gerrera because I know that's something we get in the trailer, so I am waiting for that with a little bit of excitement. I would say that Luthen and Mon Monthma are like the only two characters that I really care about in this show. I don't know. So far, I really haven't been into Andor as much. I haven't really been invested in any of the other characters either. I would say like the only scene that kind of like intrigued me with Andor and one of the other guys was when uh, the dude that plays Micro in The Punisher, I don't know his name here, but he's like offers him the chance to betray you know, the, the rebels and get half of the money that they stole. Cause I think they said they stole like 80 million worth of, of money, of credits, whatever the currency was. And it, he said, you could get half. And I'm like, okay, so what's Andor going to do here? He doesn't take up the offer, but he is just kind of like, all right, I'm done here. I'm done with this. You know, I did my part of the bargain. I'm gone. Yeah. So as far as like how I would rank this episode, right? Like if all the ep other episodes were D's or F's, I would say that this episode was probably like a C or maybe even a C minus. I didn't hate it as much as I hated the other episodes, but like I said, you guys, overall, I'm just not liking this show. And we're halfway through it at this point, right? And if we're gonna keep at this pace, with the show and and it's just with stuff that I don't care about then we're in I'm in for a long ride personally now if we start focusing on the characters like Mon Monthma and Luthen which it felt like we were going to start doing with oh, which episode was it the one with 
uh, Leuven and Mon Monthma in the, the shop on Coruscant. It felt like we were going to start getting more focus on them. Uh, but then it didn't, the past couple episodes, I don't think we really, they've only been on screen for a few minutes. But now I'm curious to see what they do. Now that this second arc is over, like where are the third and fourth arcs going to go? So there is like that part of me that's still like curious. But like I said, just overall, like this first half of the season, I have not really enjoyed it all. But that is just my opinion. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. What are you guys thinking of Andor so far? Are you guys excited for the rest of the season? What do you think is all going to happen? Let me know in the comments. And also make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video with others to help support the channel. Go subscribe to my second YouTube channel, Top 10 Character Moments, and I will see you guys next time. Hello there.